the faith that I live by February 9, his eternal pre-existence. And now our Father glorify thou be with thee, with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. John 17 verse 5. Christ was one with the Father before the foundation of the world was laid. This is the light shining in a dark place making it resplendent with divine original glory. Christ is the pre-existent, self-existent Son of God. In speaking of his pre-existence, Christ carries the mind back to the deathless ages. He assures us that there, was, there never was a time when he was not in close fellowship with the eternal God. His divine life could not be reckoned by human computation. The existence of Christ before his incarnation is not measured by a figures. Christ was God essentially and in the highest sense. He was with God from all eternity. God over all, blessed forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, the divine Son of God, existed from eternity, a distinct person, yet one with the Father. He was the surpassing glory of heaven. He was the commander of the heavenly intelligence and the adoring homage of the angels was received by him as his right. He was equal with God, infinite and omnipotent. He, but he humbled himself and took morality upon him. As a member of the human family, he was mortal, but as God, he was the fountain of life to the world. He could, in his divine person, ever have withstood the advances of death and refused to come under its dominion. But he voluntarily laid down his life that in so doing he might give life and bring immortality to light. He bore the sins of the world and endured the penalty which rolled like a mountain upon his divine soul. He yielded upon his life a sacrifice that man should not eternally die. He died not through being compelled to die, but by his own free will. And this wonderful mystery, the incarnation of Christ and the atonement that he had made, must be declared to every son and daughter of Adam. So today I'm being told that his existent pre-existent. So Christ existed from the beginning the way God existed from the beginning. Christ can be worshipped as God the way God is worshipped. So Christ and God are equal. Not saying that Christ is lower. No. If you say that way, that is the work of the devil to remove the position of Christ to lower him. And that is how the Illuminati Freemason do. They turn Christ to be like he did not have power. He just came. He was created. But in real sense, Christ was equal with God. He was there from the beginning. We are being told here that Christ removed his life by his own will. Can you remove your life by your own will that you die? Another thing you're being told here, that all people who are from Adam, they should know the truth that Christ died for them, they might stop sinning, that one day they might have immortality without dying. So have a blessed day. As we know, Christ is equal with God and Christ can be worshipped as God and Christ is God. Have a blessed day.